I clean up dog poop wearing a paddock. 18 years of the last 20 years blow my money on watches in the minds of other people. Artist John Mayer is known for his collector's gene. His love of Japanese fashion and streetwear has contributed to a collection of Visbin pieces and even a bait collaboration. But more well known than his taste for fashion is Mayer's partiality for watches. While it's unclear just how many watches he owns, rare models put the value of his collection in the millions. Today we're taking a look at some of the most frequently worn watch models in John Mayer's collection. I'm a musician, I'm a misfit, I'm an idiot. This does not represent a complex algorithm that I worked out to make money. I love watches. John Mayer's history with watches started shortly after receiving his first major paycheck from a record label when he splurged on a Rolex Explorer 2. However, it wasn't until he purchased an IWC Big Pilot in 2002 that he jumped into collecting. Over the past 20 years, Mayer's watch collection has become massive. What was once a niche interest has boomed in popularity, causing his collection to skyrocket in value. Both popular classics as well as vintage finds have earned him respect within the wristwear industry and beyond. May has a serious collection of Rolexes including a Rolex Comex Submariner and a series of Rolex GMT Master 2s, one with a Grateful Dead engraving in the back. Perhaps the most visible Rolex model he showcases on Instagram is the Cosmograph Daytona, a model created for motorsports. In 2014, Mayer showcased a piece from his collection for the first time. His black Mickey Mouse Daytona was personally designed and made to tap into a vintage aesthetic. Over subsequent years, he's posted himself in numerous Daytonas, including two Rolex Rainbow Daytonas. The Rainbow Daytona, first released in 2012, has been seen on celebrities like Tiger, Post Malone and Mark Wahlberg. Original Rolex Rainbow Daytona sold for around $90,000 and today, the watches can sell for over a million dollars. Mayer has also shown off a couple of Paul Newman Daytonas, including a Rolex Daytona in reverse panda. The watch can be identified by its exotic dial with an Art Deco typeface, a contrast in chapter ring and Daytona lettering wrapped around the 12-hour subdial. The models were not widely produced due to their lack of popularity at the time, making Paul Newman Daytonas as one of the most expensive Daytonas today. The artist's Daytona collection continues past what viewers see on Instagram, including two Daytonas with an Arab crest and a gold Daytona with a green dial, now nicknamed the John Mayer. Audemars Piguet Royal Oaks, not the Rolexes, are the most popular on the artist's page. APs have frequently made their way to concert and tour photos. Launched in 1972, the sports watch is known for its octagonal bezel and exposed screw heads. Retail for time only 41mm steel models typically start at around $25,000 and can go up to hundreds of thousands. Mayer owns two Audemars Piguet Royal Oaks in white ceramic. An Audemars Piguet Concept Royal Oak Tourbillon chronograph worn on his 2019 world tour and, more recently worn, an Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Perpetual Calendar. The Tourbillon Chronograph model was listed at around $250,000, while the Perpetual Calendar model reaches half a million. Various solid metal Royal Oaks flesh out his collection. A gold Audemars Piguet Royal Oak with a black dial and a gold dial, a Royal Oak 41 Fly and Tourbillon blue dial stainless steel, and 2021's Royal Oak self-winding flying Tourbillon with green dial. Also worn on tour is Mayer's Patek Philippe, which can be spotted in the photos from his Born and Raised World Tour eight years ago. Mayer cites the brand as one of his favourites for everyday wear and reveres the brand so much that he had a custom salmon dial watch engraved with his name. Patek Philippe Aquanauts are especially popular on his Instagram, easily recognised by their boxy yet rounded shape. Like Daytona's and Royal Oaks, the Aquanaut was made to be a sports model. Several perpetual calendar chronographs can also be identified by the distinct design on their dial. This black dial Patek Philippe perpetual calendar chronograph is priced beyond $200,000, alongside a second Patek Philippe perpetual calendar with a white dial and a black leather strap that also easily goes for six figures. 
To round out his Patek collection, he's shown off a few Patek Philippe Calatravis, one of which features a Tiffany dial. But look closer, but look closer still. Look inside the A of Tiffany and you'll see a small photo of myself as a child. <laughs> the up-close grams continue as viewers scroll down his page to see a Tudor Black Bay on a leather deployant cuff strap gifted to him by a friend and another Black Bay model in bronze. A wide range of Casio models, including a Casio G-Shock Master of G Mudmaster, have been showcased in the artist's photos. May has also produced his own watch in collaboration with G-Shock, which retailed at a modest $180. Another watch on the lower price end is Mayer's hard-to-find 89 vintage Casio Twin Graph, released around the time he was in school. So I, I bought the big pilot, and I think that was the moment where my love of watches kind of got cemented. IWC Big Pilot, the watch that got him into collecting two decades ago, can be found in older posts that give the brand a shout out. Mayer has an affinity for vintage models of the aviation watch with credit to their fit and the quality of their make. A decade of posting to Instagram showcases some of the artist's most special pieces, from diving watches, to pilot watches, to racing watches. Mayer has distinguished himself as a tastemaker, driving demand for the watches he co-signs and gaining him a following beyond his music career. With the piece always on arm, his posts provide viewers a glimpse into an extensive collection which we can assume spans beyond what we see on social media.